staycations, uh, living in caravans, pods, camper vans. Have you ever thought about taking, about it, taking it one step further and living in a van? Our next guest set up on his journey and is going to be celebrating his two-year vaniversary this month. Um, he's called Liam. He's outside in our car park. He's chatting to Xanthi. And as, uh, I think you just heard there's a bit of a delay, which means it's going to be very difficult for me to be able to talk to Liam. So I'm going to uh, pass over to Xanthi now. All yours, Xanthi. Hello. Well, I'm in the car park, the Radio Sheffield car park, and I'm joined by Liam the Terrible and his dog, Princess. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, Liam the Terrible, what, what's the name all about? <laughs> I wish I had some really witty answer to that, but it was a name I made up about three years ago, never expecting my YouTube channel to go anywhere. And then my YouTube channel went places and the name stuck, and now I'm stuck with that name. So it has no really smart answer or, or funny answer. It just it, is. It's still a great name. It's still a great <laughs> name. But we're here this morning to talk about your camper van. Can you tell me a bit about it? So we're stood outside it at the minute. What are we looking at? Um, it's a 2002 uh, Mercedes Sprinter medium wheelbase. Uh, uh, what, what specifics do you want to know? Uh, I mean, it's converted to living. Um, it's like a, a whole house is condensed into is one van. A whole house condensed let's have into a look, one Let's have a little van. sneak peek. Let's have a look. What, so what have we got in here? We've got a mini kitchen. Yeah, got so it's got, it's got uh, gas and electric. It's got its own Wi-Fi. It's got uh, two beds, cupboards, toilet, uh, everything you could need, really. And how long have you been living in, in this van? Uh, in this van, 18 months. Before that, for six months, I lived in a much smaller van in a Volkswagen. Um, so in total, it's two years this month that I've decided not to live in a house. And what made you go from living in a house to living on the road? Well, I was always interested in alternative lifestyles and I, I originally wanted to live on a boat. Um, and then I had a camper van when I lived in a house. And when I uh, left that house, I had the camper van and just continued to stay in the camper van and it evolved from there, really. It was never really planned. It just sort of happened. And is this like a never-ending project? Are you constantly renovating it and making it it's something? Never, never-ending project. I can imagine. There's always something that I want to change. The more you live in it, the more... It's like living in a house. You decorate one room, go around every room, decorate that, and then you're back to the original room again to decorate. So it's kind of like that. And would you ever go back to living in a house, or is that it now? Are you done? Are you done with that life? <sighs> I would go back and live into a house tomorrow if, if the this, this situation needed me to do that. But whilst I can... Uh, live a bit more free I, I don't see why I would and what is it that you love so much what is it about living on the road that you that keeps you keeps you in your van rather than staying in a house uh, well I mean the, the the sort of lockdown situation that we just had was a, uh, a, a the best example of what I can give uh, I, once the lockdown happened I just went to the Peak District and sat there for two months wow. whilst that happened so I had that the best like the views. dream yeah so I had the best views the, the best weather no tourists no people around and just got to hang out there really so it's just freedom being able to do that and obviously there's financial freedom as well so it's, it's just great really. So Liam you're originally from Sheffield yep. and presumably you've not stuck around in Sheffield whilst you've had a camper van have you? Uh, since I've lived in my van I have stayed in Sheffield quite a lot because oh. I have to come back to Sheffield for, for some things um, so for example last night I stayed on Matilda Street just around the back of the studio so when I park up somewhere nobody knows that I'm I don't party in there I don't have the doors open so once I park up the doors are shut nobody knows people just think it's a normal van so I can just stealth anywhere really so, so you've, you've not had far to come this morning no, no literally, literally like, just rolled yeah, out of bed 30 seconds yeah yeah and um, so I presumably you've done a lot of traveling you say you've been to Sheffield quite a few times uh, or you've stayed around here where would you we're talking about staycations and places that we should go and, and stay at for a weekend or yeah. travel around to where would you suggest in South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire uh, well, I mean, the, the Peak District is where I spend most of my time and I would strongly recommend going there. Um, yesterday I went uh, swimming out Langsett Way in the reservoirs there and it was just... I, I did some filming there and uh, you, you can't believe that that's on the edge of Sheffield. Like, it, it looks like you're in Canada or somewhere, you know what I mean? Wow. It's the most spectacular places and I don't think that... Some people that live in Sheffield don't appreciate what is literally just outside the town. The, 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 we've got the best countryside. It's amazing. So for you, your top place to stay? I would go to the Peak District, absolutely. Yeah. Any specific part? Any, any uh, one place you'd suggest? I, I, I'm, I'm usually around the Castleton area uh, and the Hope Valley area. Okay. 
Well, that sounds fantastic. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming to visit us this morning. No and problem. Toby, that's another place you can add to your list. Castleton, maybe. <laughs> Let's get there. Let's get down to some uh, St. Mines and buy some St. John's. Yeah, sounds fantastic. I'm really interested in that. The thing is, and I won't describe the van because why would you? But he has got a fairly anonymous looking van from the outside. So he can just buy whatever he wants. That's the, that's the great thing about it not being a camper van. You know, the big white thing that says people are sleeping in here. It's just a van. Just parks overnight. I, would, I could really see me. I'd love it. Obviously, until I got cold or something. Totally.